Can you hear it? Super Galactic Fragilucious. Test, test. Test, test, test. Got it? Brian Aguilar, the beast on the guitar. New name. Remember, the road will still be golden, even when your highest faith is. Something outside yourself is shattered to pieces. The road will still be golden if your prophet's words prove altered with lies applied to serve the selfishness of our minds. The road will still be golden if aliens descend from the skies and we discover that we are born of their light through their seeds. Rosie Nils in the house. The road will still be golden if and when the nukes begin to fly and electricity becomes a dying dream and a renewed quest for living arrives. The road will still be golden when science and stars collide with Jesus and the Anunnaki as Nibiru meets the third eye. Certain and nothing but our own divinity. Our place is here and now. We are golden and we are soul, but much more than that. That's where it's at. Breaking through that multi dimensionality, divinity, infinity, holy triad, the Trinity. We're bringing it down now. This is our time. Time to rise. It's a benediction, coronation, divine demonstration, human soul hybrid. How's it going, everybody? That's little uh, Ryan Aguilar, the beast on the guitar from my hometown, Houston, Texas, doing all that good work with Sevi Casteris and all that sacred geometry. If you look at the pages uh, that are involved with Sology, uh, what you see on the cover photo is what is actually uh, Sology's sacred geometry. And if you look real close at it, it has a bunch of uh, golden apples on it and uh, the tree of life at the top and the bottom. We've got a really special show today. Uh, I woke up coming out of a uh, dimension and dream state and lucid dreaming and getting all this downloads and over here in Hawaii. And it was about, I don't know, quarter to seven this morning. I, I, I I downloaded to like five in the morning and uh, and a very good friend of mine uh, reached out to me. It was the first thing I saw. I didn't have my glasses on and I was looking at it and uh, it was a very good friend of mine who we've done some shows together. And uh, she said, hey, do you have a spot? And I said, absolutely. Well, let's work this out. So we got a double surprise. And uh, without further ado, I want to introduce uh, two people that have been out there for a long, long time doing the good work and uh leading the way and uh it's all getting exciting now it's a very special day so let me let me bring on to the camera uh greg prescott and michelle walling i'm sure you all know them how y'all doing today <laughs> you're doing great thank you so much for having us on 
Indeed. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Greg is like the, uh, what is it? The, what is the, uh, that, that bird that's always never seen. <laughs> I asked Greg. The I king of Greg. the introverts. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> King of the introverts. Yeah, so, you know, this is a platform, Michelle knows. Uh, I'm sure, Greg, you've seen it. Uh, yes. You know, it's a plat platform for uh, for people like you. And let me just say, on behalf of everybody here and everybody on the replay, uh, you guys have been out there doing this for a long, long time. Uh, so thank you on behalf of, of, of uh, the work that you've done uh, for humanity uh, and for this transition. And thank you for honoring us with your space. Uh, and sharing space with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Michelle said there was a couple of things that y'all wanted to get into, and uh, uh, you guys can figure out who's going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> it's always me. I'm the one that talks. He's the one that like sits in the back and does all the magic. So um, <laughs> this day, <laughs> we, we woke up to some amazing energies and I don't even know how to describe it, but uh, I had uh, I thought about you, Todd, and I thought, well, I wonder when Greg will um, fulfill his promise to come on, you know, your show. And mm -hmm. and so I I got up and made coffee and ate breakfast, washed the dishes, um, did some things around the house, came in here, talked to him, said, hey, could you be on Todd's show with me so we could, you know finally get this thing going. I just had this thought. I had no idea the process of your new platform and how it was rolling out or anything. But when I went back into my room and sat down on the computer and typed the message and sent it, it was exactly 1111 when I sent it out of yeah. everything that had unfolded in the morning. So I know we're on the same wavelength and today's really special. I just can't describe exactly how it feels feels very similar to um, just like Christmas feeling. And I posted on Facebook today about how this year I'm going to be celebrating Christmas for the first time in four years in my own way and in my own childlike way, getting back to surprises and magic. And uh, so that's that's really how this got started here. And we just wanted to hang out with you. And, and uh, Greg wants to share a little bit about his journey lately. And uh, we'll just like flow with it. Yeah, that's, the yeah. way, that's the way you are. We love you. Yeah, that's what we do. It's spontaneous, intuitive, creative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You said something about in the message about uh, shadowing and on Facebook. Was that right? Is that the term that you use? Shadow banning. Sh shadow banning. Yeah. It's official. Shadow, shadow banning. Yeah. yeah. About that. Some people, actually, many people have said they haven't seen anything I posted on my personal page since November 7th. And then I got another post yesterday saying that N5D was banned, I think, in Belgium. And somebody posted something from there, N5D, and then they got followed up by the secret police or something like that. <laughs> it's insane. And then just maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, I was sharing articles from my page to the groups that I'm in. After only eight groups, I got thrown in Facebook jail. Yeah. They said I can't post anything. I'm only posting eight times to uh, yeah. different groups. So obviously we're doing something right. If they see us as that much of a threat, yeah, posting positive articles, you know, we're doing something right. No, that's that that's uh, absolutely, and I can back that up too. Uh, in two two instances, <clears throat> one is yeah, I did publicize it. You know, we put up twelve hours of this mixtape which is just these conversations back to back to back to back, no music, no nothing. And, uh, 12 hours over three days on YouTube. And I received my first strike and they said, you get, you know, basically get two more and then we're going to cancel your channel. And I said, well, why is that? And they said content. And I said, well, what do you mean content? And they said content. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, okay. And then today, okay. because this was kind of, even for me, this was a little bit short notice. And I just wanted to make sure as many people knew that you guys were coming on uh, so I went, I don't normally share the groups, uh, maybe three or four on a show sometimes if I'm waiting for the audience to come in. But so when I went to make the post, I shared it to Sology one studios page and I shared it to a tag jaw. And then I shared it to, uh, the Sology group. And then I went to share it to the, to a nut, some other groups. And the first one I hit, it told me you were in Facebook jail. So, oh, so he had the same thing happen. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's definitely going on. Uh, I think, you know, yeah, I know in the, in the past, I think people are like, Oh, they know what we're doing and uh, you know, and it wasn't really that palpable, but I think now it's, it's obvious. And, uh, I was watching a really interesting, uh, I think Jordan Maxwell is going to be coming on to the show here pretty soon. I'm waiting to hear back from him. He already agreed to do it, but I was watching it uh, from 2010, uh, him and David Ike on project Camelot. And it was a really good, it was a discussion where they're both sitting down in Wembley and they were talking about, uh, particularly David Ike was talking about how, and of course this was eight years ago. He said, it's not so much about what they're doing in terms of trying to take on more power. They, of course, quote unquote, they, the you, me, we, and it that's playing the other side or whatever you want to call it. But they said, he said, there's a wave coming and it can't be stopped. And it's all about this awakening. And, and I, I watched it for about an hour last night. And I don't normally watch that much video, but I guess I was supposed to watch it. So I think that's what's happening. You know, a lot of us are just merely encouraging others to question everything. Not just the crap that's going on in politics, but our spiritual reality. Why are we here? Where did we come from? Everything. And that goes against the narrative. They don't want anyone questioning yeah. anything except the official narrative. Yeah. Well, what I love about it, to me, the king, the keys to the kingdom, you know, are like Freddie King used to say from Dallas, Texas. And I know you're a blues lover. <laughs> the keys to the highway uh, are all we got to do is take care of ourselves, man. You know, that's how this thing gets blown open. It's like any and I love what you said, Greg, because even in the quote unquote circles, I don't want to even use the term light worker anymore, but say light keeper and grid keeper. Thank you, Lisa Brown. Uh, but in these circles, uh, we're starting to have to question things too, because, you know, everything is proportionate to the existence or experience that we're having. So I've seen a lot of growth over the last two or three months in myself and others. Um, uh, and I've also seen a lot of pain, <laughs> you know, well, um, Greg and I had a pretty philosophical talk today on the beach about, you know, the the beach poisoning, the fish dying, you know, the, the tourism, the real estate, everything that it's impacting um, here in Florida uh, with the Gulf of Mexico and on the Atlantic side. Um, and, uh, you know, everything, I have to believe everything is happening for a reason. And I don't necessarily um, want to think that it's all because we're being attacked or that, um, you know, we're being singled out. Um, if you go back to seeing everything from a higher level that we are, we are all the creator, you know, then we created this experience for some, some reason. And we created um, this period of time that we're in for everything to fall so that it can be rebuilt. So as we are witnessing it. It's not easy, but what we wanted to really do today is share the, the energy of what we have in support for each other. I'm here supporting him as he's going through a hard time of building a website and working 24 seven for 10 years, uh, eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the beginning and now eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the end and watching Facebook, um, shut things down, watching um, our the fires, California, watching the ridiculousness of, of the politics and, uh, or, you know, all yeah. the different things that are happening. But yet we were still sitting around each other, sitting next to each other going, but we're still here and we're still having fun and yeah. we'll figure it out. We'll figure out a way that we can get around all this censor censorship and come together in support of each other. And maybe in the end, we'll look back and we'll see that it was a blessing to bring each other to uh, bring our soul family together, which is what N5D is, is about, bringing star family together. And um, I just want to, you know, share to try to look at the, look at this from not a victim standpoint, but more of a, there's gotta be a reason for this. And as long as we can stay in the heart and not emotionally react to when these things happen, yes, sometimes we're being attacked, but it's more AI 
And if you don't react to it, that's how you flip the polarity of it. And uh, that's, that's kind of what we wanted to do and hang out and share that frequency with everyone. You know, I, I started writing about this back, I think it was in 2008, maybe 2009, about Pluto going in Capricorn. Uh, Pluto's known as the destroyer. It tears down everything that's in humanity's best interest and allows us to rebuild it in humanity's best interest. The last time that Pluto was in Capricorn was in the 1700s during both the French and American revolutions. And what did we just have a couple of days ago? There's revolutions going on in France. It's all repeating right now, it's a cycle, but we're at the end of this cycle. Uh, what's happening though is everything is going to collapse, money, government, religion, it's all gonna collapse. And, and I told Michelle way back when we first met back in 2014, everything needs to collapse so we can rebuild it back and it's happening within our own reality, but it, it's not horrible. I mean, peanut butter and jelly is good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that, you know, one thing that I always um, that I always wish and hope and try to intend is that we don't have to go through a full uh, scale uh, economical governmental collapse. It's going to be different than we think um, because there's been so much fear put out there about, you know, survival. It won't we won't have to worry about that. What's happening is this bifurcation of the world's. And um, there's a lot of magic that yeah. is going to happen when we can get the frequency of our group of awakened beings, of those who are going to be in a different reality, above the frequency of the technology that they're using to um, the harp and the ELF frequencies and everything else. When we can get the collective above that, our DNA can begin to unravel and correct itself automatically. And that's what's going to give us the cognition, the remembrance and the abilities to get through this. And there's nothing to fear at all. So, but I really don't, I hope we don't have to go through this 3D collapse across the board with money and all that. But if we do, you know, then we're in, we're in it together and we're not going to starve. We're not going to suffer there. You know, we have to, trust that we did not come here to be cavemen again we came here to advance and that's yeah uh, I, I, yeah i got a couple of reflections on that one is in the beginning of what y'all were talking about when i got the the strike on youtube you know my my aligned aspects or higher self or whatever you want to call it because I immediately, I didn't go into victim. Well, I did. I went into like, man, what is this all about? And then, and then I was clearly told right away, put a post out. It's not, it's not that way. This we're pushing you. It's time for not me, but it's time for you guys to break away. Period. You cannot, you cannot create what you're here to do. If you've got a foot, you know, standing over here where you came from. You know, that's one thing. And the other thing that you bring up that I think is so important uh, is the, this magic. The magic's real. It's real. It's becoming more and more, you know, e e uh, evidentiary every single day, you know, more palpable every single day. I'm an example of it. You guys are an example of it. I know people all over the world. They're, they're doing amazing things. If you look at it from a 3D standpoint, you know, it, it shouldn't happen. They don't have the money. They don't have the resources. They don't have the time. They don't have any way to do it. But the universe is, is, is that unseen hand of providence is making way, you know, and it's making it happen. Uh, and so that's exciting. And the other thing that I think is becoming more apparent in this morning, for me anyway, it was my morning, <laughs> it, it is, is a, an example of it is I and, and others uh, are having recall from dream state. And, and it's not a human linear type of memory, but it's, it's a feeling. And I know that we were all doing some serious work last night. And I know this was planned <laughs> in dream state last night. And this is the other part of what David Icke and, uh, and Maxwell were talking about on that episode. <laughs> uh is they were talking about how how this is occurring and that people just like yourselves have come here uh for this purpose and and that the very uh uh transformation of them 
which is which is uh, expanded exponentially when they start to join together. And I think that's what's happening, too. So that's that's a powerful, powerful uh, reality that can overcome. And I agree with you. Uh, we're not going to have to do any of that stuff. That's in fact, we this is going to be so good of a ride. We have no idea how it's going to go. But it's it's it is it's it is getting better, even though we are eating some peanut butter and jelly. Well, the one thing that I wanted to talk about, just mention, uh, just jotted down a few things, was my dream last night. So it is interesting that you say that. I do find myself in some very crazy dreams that don't make any sense whatsoever. But last night I was in a large um, like conference uh, stadium, and there had been some event, and people had left their trash all over. There was cups and and trash and then then for some reason there were like books everywhere and um it was my job to go clean up the trash clean up the shit is what i call it i'm always cleaning up the shit and stack the books at the end of the aisles so that people could come along parts books up and there were toys and i had to put toys the toys all in a pile and then in one area there was like this garage shelf thing where there was junk everywhere like just stuff and I was kind of going and cleaning and dusting. And when I woke up, I was like, well, that's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. But then it came to me that what I was doing was moving energy. Yeah. Cleaning by adjusting, by even touching. And, and that's what we do when we clean house. It's not about being OCD and needing to have everything clean. Although I am a little bit a freak in that way. I like to have a clean kitchen. If I'm going to go cook, I like to have a clean bathtub. If I'm going to take a bath to clean myself, to clean my energy field. But it's about, even if I just pick something up and I dust and put it down, I have moved the energy. And this, when I, what I came here for are a couple of things. You're absolutely right. When you say we came here for a reason, we do a lot of work in our sleep. I came here to move, help move stuck energy. A lot of People who have reincarnated over and over again have been stuck. And then the beings who have forced them into reincarnation are also stuck. And then I also came in to work on this this human being template that is tied to a planetary body called Earth. And to, um, to work on my DNA. And that happens by doing the work um, on myself through emotions, through Things that appear in my reality that are challenges, uh, situations, and to learn how to change the outcome of the situation differently than I maybe would have done, you know, even a year ago, reaction, reacting differently and coming from a space, you know, in my heart. And then, of course, you and I, Todd, have taught, talked several times about this surrendering. And um, I have really seen how I have integrated higher aspects of my multidimensional self and how I can sit back in some situations and trust and allow them to run the show. It may not look like we're doing a lot, but there's so much that we cannot see in our reality, what's happening out there. Uh, But when I felt the way I felt today, when I woke up, I felt really good. And it's not every day that we wake up feeling very good. Some days we just don't want to get out of bed and that's okay too. But today was special. And I just wanted to give everyone a reminder that we are doing it. We have been successful in the template. We're just waiting for the moment where we can flip that polarity and begin to see the changes that we uh, came here to do on this template. And when that happens within, it will project out into our reality. Yeah. And I'm noticing a lot on the live comments here, a lot of people are saying that they're having very vivid dreams. And of course, your dream was really profound. You know, you woke up feeling amazing despite having to clean other people's shit, basically. So, but, you know, and you've been having that repetitive, (laughs) finally all came together. Now, the other day I had a dream. I was telling Michelle about this. I dreamt I was outside and I was lo- I'm looking up at the sky and there was this hourglass like constellation and I didn't know at the time what it was. Now all of a sudden, you know, a UFO flies in front of it and as the as the UFO is flying in front of it, the hourglass lit up and started sparkling all over, uh, just blinking and flashing as if the whole sky was lighting up and I knew something magnanimous was about to happen. As it turns out, 
that hourglass is part of Orion's belt, which we see in the sky here right now. And Michelle's like the queen of Orion's belt. She has Orion's belt all over her. It's all over my body and, yeah. and moles. One time I had, it was on three moles on the back of my neck when I was younger and my necklace would irritate this mole. And I would look in the mirror and I'd say, look at those ugly three moles right in, a, in alignment. I need to get those removed. So I had them removed and then they appeared on my face mm -hmm. and now they're, they're on my leg and red, red moles who has red moles, you know, only the only red moles on top of my thigh so I can see it because I had it like removed. Now it's appearing here um, on the other side of my face too. So there's something very significant about Orion. I know that Orion births stars and the, the, the belt of Orion is, uh, seems to be that middle star, uh, seems to be a stargate outside of maybe even the galaxy or, you know, the universe itself. So something about Orion that's very special. And, and plus, share that. Uh, yeah, Betelgeuse is in Orion, Orion's uh, constellation. And they say that that's the, the, the one star that will go supernova sometime in our lifetime. And perhaps... If that goes supernova, that's what creates that that chain link reaction. Maybe in metaphor, with all those stars lighting up in the sky. I mean, if the stars are us, what happens then? Do we turn into light bodies when that goes supernova? Just food for thought. Putting it out there. Yeah, yeah, and and I think if you if you do any, you know, I've I've gotten a lot of over the last seven years which i didn't understand a lot of the galactic history right in, in my personal downloads and then if you look at any of it and research it orion always plays a big part of it it's all, almost like the inception of it you know so that's interesting uh that's really interesting and i think the other thing that strikes me too is what you were talking about with the uh cleaning up the shift <laughs> i i got in trouble too much for cussing so i say shift now uh, but uh but i had a uh i don't know it, it went on for uh maybe about two months i kept having these lucid dreams where there was that same type of thing involved and i started to realize that what i was doing because i guess because i had asked for it because I had uh, been a little bit more reactive and uh, maybe projected on certain people close to me and <laughs> stuff like that. But so the ease and grace thing came in and uh, what it was, was I was doing all my purging in my dream state. So I would have these dreams. I'm like, what the hell was that all about? You know, like, you know, I'm cleaning up, literally cleaning up shift everywhere, you know, mine, everybody else's. I'm like, what is this? You know, this can't mean anything. Did I eat some msg whatever you call that stuff yeah. but what it was it was i was clearing and this is another thing i i've seen a lot of people that are doing that either dream state or actively doing it you know tl guadalupe my sister over in sedona when i was in sedona she does uh airbnbs she cleans airbnbs and she says you know i'm not cleaning you know so it's it's all that uh conscious uh you know, cleansing or, or clearing that makes the space. And, and, and I'm seeing a lot of cohesiveness, you know, in this human hybrid soul grid that we're forming. You can call it Blu-ray or whatever you want, but I've seen a lot of evidence that it's tightening and tightening. And I think this month is huge. Absolutely huge. That's Definitely. that's why that's why, again, too, everything I've everything I've kind of been given with soldiers is always like three, six, nine, right? And uh, the third was a big day. The sixth is today, and my birthday is the ninth, and then the twelfth is uh, a gateway, you know. So I'm starting to try to plan things around these dates. So I was really tickled to death that you reached out this morning. Then we have the uh, solstice on the twenty-first. Yeah, there you go again. There's well, we thing. also have to be careful not to have any expectations and to remember that time is really not happening anyway. But I think um, I think you're spot on with the Blu-ray. I think um, you know, I had a, um, I'm writing an article called Are You Wired Differently? And I think that the Blu-ray beings um, are definitely wired differently and uh, they tend to exhibit um, you know, different tendencies, maybe some ADHD, ADD. Um, and then a lot of other different tendencies that make them kind of like not fit in. And that would be the typical star seed. But these are these are different, even more different than that. 
they vibrate at such a high frequency that when they come into the body uh, here in their incarnation, it's very difficult for them to stay in the body because they're vibrating so high and they find themselves having to do things um, to shut themselves down uh, because it's just too much um, addictions. You know, we've, you know, we've, we've, we all understand this and lowering their vibration to even fit in. And the other kids, you know, when they were young, they just didn't, um, they, they, they felt that something was different about them. Now these blue ray beings, they are the Trojan horse because what's going to happen is they're going to integrate their sun self, their, their star self, their sun self, their higher self in here. And they're going to be the Trojan horse that comes in and causes this energy shift. Okay. So a lot of my clients lately on my life coaching have been either blue ray beings or people who are wired differently and, or people who have children that are wired differently and, or people who have spouses that are wired differently. And Greg and I have had uh, the same kind of issues in, um, being totally different in some ways, uh, because I think that, you know, he's, he wrote an article about being wired differently. 30 signs that you're wired differently. There's, we're just yeah. different. And for the longest time, I couldn't understand uh, why he did certain things, uh, you know, maybe got my feelings hurt. It's taken five years to understand um, who he is, why he's different than me, and that, um, you know, to learn not to take things personally and to learn not to try to force someone else into a change, but instead to understand where they're coming from and to try to change their environment and try to come to some kind of balance between us to be able to come together because what the matrix is trying to do is push us apart, push, you know, push them apart because the ones that are here that are either, you know, angelic beings or Blu-ray beings or um, (laughs) star seeds, or even the ones that are, that, are the originators of this reality that got stuck here and forgot who they were. Those are the real people here. And then you have the bots, you have the NPCs, the background, the matrix and the AI that's running that, that's trying to, um, to keep all of us from being cohesive. When we can become cohesive within ourself, within our male and female, within our left and our right hand side of our brain, when we can raise our frequency above the low frequencies that they're sending to us to keep us, our DNA gets fragmented and is wired differently, right? When we can shift that and we come together, he froze, right? When I said that, right? When we can shift that, that's when this magic is going to really start showing itself. Well, while Todd, while Todd is frozen (laughs) right there, um, just for the, everyone that's listening. And I know that Todd will come back. I've seen his show before and this is what happens on occasion. But um, you know, I know that there's a lot of people that are listening right now that are wired differently. And here's a great example. I've always had, um, you know, on the back of my report card in grade school, fails to pay attention. Um, that was one of my classical things that I always read every, every time. And yeah, I failed to pay attention because school was boring. I didn't like it. And I was looking out the window. I was daydreaming. One time I was doing chanting that, and I didn't, didn't oming actually in class. It was fourth grade didn't even know what oming was but uh eventually i ended up getting a prescription for adderall for adhd and uh what adderall is is an, an amphetamine and to normal people what that does is it an amphetamine pumps you up it gets you going it stimulates you but for me i could do a an, take an adderall and like within an hour i would fall asleep so uh, that is one clear sign of being wired differently. Also, if you're like a, an artist or a musician, you're using that other hemisphere of the brain that most people aren't using. So that might be another sign that you're wired differently. And what Michelle's doing, I've got that article, 30 signs that you may be wired differently. And what Michelle's doing with her article, she's taking that and going a step further and saying, okay, now this is what you can do with that. So it's, it's really, they're both beautiful articles and, you know, read one and then read the other and you'll, Totally get it. Yeah, his is on n5d.com and mine will be how to, on how to exit the matrix.com when I get finished. But one of the things that, um, that we can do uh, for people who um, are wired differently is we can support them with unconditional love. And we can, um, my, uh, I have a family member who, who is like this. I have two family members. And um, 
we can encourage grounding. We can encourage um, going out into nature and um, things that can help calm them down. Um, you know, I know like one of the things that, that they do is they want to feel, they want to feel comfort. And so they may wear beanies on their head or hats all the time, or maybe at night they want to just um, curl up and have blankets just wrapped around them, you know, for that sense of comfort, being back in the womb. I just want to go back. I don't want to be here. So we can provide that comfort, you know, um, in, any, in understanding, you know, there's different, there's like a spectrum of, of uh, difficulties for, for them being here. But this is all going to change uh, when we get our, when our DNA, uh, it, finally, when it's not bombarded with frequencies, it will autocorrect itself and it will unwind and unravel and reassimilate. And that's what's, it's happening now, but that's, should be a final moment that that, that that happens. I'm seeing a lot of people on chat over here. There's Stacy and Bethany, lots of uh, N5D people that are also fans of Todd. And I just want to give you guys all a shout out and thank you all for your support. You know, while we're going through this shadow banning and crap on, on Facebook, um, I really do appreciate all your support. And I've, as I've mentioned before, make sure that you subscribe because you're not probably seeing anything that's being posted on Facebook. So subscribe to the daily or weekly newsletter. Also, uh, because Greg has been uh, banned on Facebook, it was interesting that um, I suggested that he start his a new page, like a public page, like instead of his personal page. It was on a, and, and it was on his personal page that he got completely blocked today and shut down, put in Facebook jail. So go to his public page, Greg Prescott. And, um, and click page. like there, and yeah. maybe maybe you'll start to see um, articles appear on your newsfeed more that way. Um, it seems like we've lost Todd, so we're just going to keep talking about what we wanted to talk about. Um, okay. uh, there's a couple of things on 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 your plate. One would be um, Zentasia.com, and the other would be these high pitch frequencies. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, another new baby of mine is Zentasia. Uh, it's a new Facebook page. It's also a new website that um, it's very metaphysical, very spiritual. Um, it, it doesn't go as far into like the 5D stuff, but if you just want to just introduce people to the spirituality genre, it's very user friendly. We'll put it that way, um, where people can go there and just, and it's all, it's for every range of, doesn't matter where, how deep you are in. Uh, your spirituality journey is for everyone, but um, it's not quite as woo woo as in 5D, but I think it's something that will reach a larger genre of people. And then eventually they'll probably work their way to in 5D. <laughs> and also, yeah, the high pitch frequency thing. A lot of, a lot of people, not everyone. Here's the high pitch frequencies. I hear them 24 seven, 365. And I think we're getting Todd back. There he is. Yeah, I'm back. Back. We had a power. We had a power outage. It wasn't the Illuminati. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but it, but the thing on the Blu-ray, I I wanted to tell you something because I I've I've done this is the 657th show by the way, uh, and and in these shows I've uh, discovered that it's full of activations for everybody, and it's not necessarily the instruction or anything like that, but but something came to mind, talking about dreams and. Uh, you know, I've been estranged from my, my, my large Mexican family for quite a while. And, uh, and so about two weeks ago, I got some, um, pictures on Facebook from my son and my, my brother, uh, and there was a wedding. They said, Oh my God, every Medina's here in the whole world. I'm like, yeah, except me, <laughs> 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 which is the Blu-ray way, right? You know, the black sheep. But what was interesting was a couple of nights ago, uh, I've been having three or four five days of dreams with these uh, family members, you know, sisters, brothers, father, particularly father. Okay. Which I think has something to do with this masculine stuff that's going on. But anyway, what happened was, I think it was two nights ago, he came to me and we were talking and he said to me, um, I know you're here. Uh, you know, in other words, I know you're, no, he said, I know you're awake, aren't you? And I said, yes. And he said, well, I've always known that. And I said, okay. And he said, in, the, in fact, all of the family thinks you're crazy, but they know there's something going on with you, right? And then what really struck me about it 
and I'm seeing Blu-ray, Blu-ray, Blu-ray all over it, you know, like, like he said to me, and, and to me, it was like a representation of universal support. He said, I want you to know that now out here in the realms, we're backing you up, you know? So I, I feel oh, like gosh. That, I can yeah. totally confirm what you just said because I had um, contact from my star family come through a medium friend of mine because I chose not to be able to hear and see. I had a lifetime where I went mad, went crazy because I could see everything and hear everything. So this lifetime I chose to go, you know, so I had this medium come through. My star family came through and said that for Greg in particular, I can just use him because that's what they said. Um, he has um, particular Native American family, and Greg's, a, I think Greg's a Blu ray. It, he can speak for himself, but his particular Native American family, who star family that has come back specifically to support him uh, and, blue, and, and his kind and his family. So I can totally tell you that they're here. That they, oh, yeah. And remember that lady? I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. On Facebook, on September 13th, she took a picture of the sun. And next to the sun was this big golden orb. And out of this orb was all these ships flying out. And so I asked my star family when they brought this message through, I said, was that you guys? Was that all of y'all that came through the sun on September 15th? And she's, and they said, yes. And the lady in the video um, said they're back. So um, they, I don't expect them to just walk into our living room and sit down and talk to us. It's not like that. They're us. On, mm -hmm. on another level and they're here to watch the show because we've yeah. got we we're running the show i have to agree real quick and i'm sorry that i got up while you were talking but it's okay when you were talking there was this high-pitched frequency <laughs> and i, I found it, it on my guitar uh the you tone did? that it was in and it, the tone is actually on a sharp which let's hear it can you can you hit it? Oh, actually, no. It's it's a B. I'm sorry. It's a B. It's it was a B, which is in between a C and an A sharp. But the B is the crown chakra. Wow. That's the high pitched frequency that I heard. Now I don't know. I, I just want to ask the people right now that are listening. Do you guys did, did anyone just get a high pitched fre frequency in their right ear? I did. I I did right when I finished talking, and she started when she said to me. Oh, I can, you know, like that. It started yes. with me. That's when it happened. Yeah. The, uh, you the, guys are on the same wavelength. Yeah. yeah. The right side is your divine masculine. It's also the present tense. Left side is divine feminine. Past yeah. tense, past lives or life. Something, there's a divine masculine energy in the current life that's going on right now that's in the crown chakra. So it's not going to surprise me if anyone, and, and look at all these yeses here on the yeah, left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we had. It wouldn't surprise mm. me. And my crown shock is tingling right now, too. But it wouldn't yeah, I, surprise I, me if something major is going on, not only down here yeah. below, but as above as well. It's happening right here. I mean, nah, I'm getting it lit up now. Bring brothers together. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all of us. Uh, <clears throat> I did yeah, a show. Everyone on, here holding, holding space. I did a show on. Uh, it's all about. It? That's why. I mean, we just have to thank you so much. You know, Greg's been doing this 10 years within 5D. He started out interviewing people like Jordan Maxwell and Floris Cannon. Floris Cannon. And he has all these on N5D YouTube channel way back, you know, when he first started um, this this whole thing. And he's a pioneer. I came in five years after, been doing it for five years. And there comes a point in time where you just kind of want to hand over the baton and you know, it's not easy and it doesn't pay anything at all. So, you know, I have to hand hand it over to you. And I, we're in we're here to support you and 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 people who are coming forth in so in support of others. It's all about family here and supporting each other. And we've got a lot of um, a lot of comments. Hi, I oh, just, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of these people are confirming the high pitch frequency, the right ear. The crown chakra tingling right now. Uh, so many of, and this is, uh, you know, the, those of us that are able to, and it's not that anyone, you were mentioning, I think last week or so, some people, we hear it. Other people, they feel it. They don't yeah, necessarily right. hear it, but they feel it. Uh, and we're just reporting on what we hear. And I, that's what I've been doing every day on N5D.com. There's 
a, a major frequency that's constantly going on. And each day it seems to change. And I've been reporting on that every day. And as well as putting out a video that allows you to find out which, which frequency you're hearing as well. And they're recorded in such a high pitch that you can align whatever sound you're hearing to that video and find out which one. Every major frequency from A major to G sharp is on there. So, Yeah, I um, saw a couple of those. those are every really tone weird. means something different, as you can see here. Let me see that. I'm gonna let me blow that up. Oh yeah, very cool. Yeah. So I mean, if you're not hearing high pitch frequencies and you're not feeling anything, don't feel like that you're just being left behind. You're not. You're not. It's just that we want to and support, share our journey and what's happening individually with one of us, so that um, you know. I mean, he hears them all the time. Sometimes never stops. You know, sometimes I hear that high pitch frequency come in and come out on one ear or the other. But in my particular case, my deal is that when I when my heart activated, I began to hear a low hum in inside mm -hmm. of my head, and it wasn't out here. It was something in my cochlea, in my ear, that mm -hmm. the vibration of my heart. Now my wings starting to grow know and starting connect to connect and everything so i have a low pitched harmonic frequency that encompasses many different scales so kind of everybody's different mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, this is pretty profound that everybody yeah uh, confirmation yeah. that it was ama amazing how many people commented there on confirmation yes 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 and i saw social moon was saying that so sorcerer said that i'm i'm male female sorcha i could i don't know is her <laughs> <laughs> left ear uh, was ringing, and that means uh, the past and divine feminine. So, hmm. be a spirit guide, perhaps, or somebody ancestral that has passed away. There's so many. We're this is like an untouched genre in our study. We've all met. Well, many of us have heard these high pitched frequencies, but we're trying to figure out exactly what they mean. And I've gotten the meanings of every note of what they mean. And each note is even associated to a different planet and a different chakra. So it's, it's absolutely fascinating to go into this and um, share this information with everyone right now. Yeah, absolutely. I, I hear them all the time. I've been hearing them for two, three years. Um, and, and, and I've got to the point now, like last night, last night uh, I was getting a visitation and started to started to kind of materialize, but I was so tired. I was like, you know, and I saw this, there was like a blue and white light dancing over to the right of the room. And, uh, and I've experienced some of this stuff with Morgan primarily. Uh, but anyway, so I was so tired. I was like, man, you know, I can't keep my eyes open. If, if I want me to open my eyes, just give me a tone. And so I closed my eyes and went bing. And I was like, oh shit, you know, back to work, you know, but yeah. And, and then on 1122, I did a show with, uh, over at Lisa, transcendence brown's house and the same thing happened and and uh and it and it <coughs> went off you know this this tone went off and then people and it actually carried on to the audio of the screen and people were hearing it so and i've seen and i've experienced some of that on some of these shows too some of these these shows where one or the other or both will, will get the same thing. I get downloaded <laughs> all the time and activated all the time on these shows. You'll see me moving around and, and putting my head, my hand up to my ear. I'm getting activated, you know, and, uh, and I know, you know, just from having done them and seeing the energy, I think I can, I think I'm more comfortable saying and confident saying I can see the energy because it, because it's part of my mission. I can see that the energy of the, of the people, you know, uh, in regard to the broadcast, and I can see what's happening with them, uh, the connectivity, the activations, and the and the exchange of soul code. So, yeah, you're right, Greg. It's very real, and the more we talk about it, you know, the more the more it uh, expands. Mm -hmm. I saw Janie was asking a question in chat. Do you meditate uh, to those frequencies? You can, and I don't see why you can't. But what I found interesting was that. Recently, I, I had a new walk-in, and um, this new walk-in apparently likes swing music <laughs> and classical. <laughs> and every, anyone that knows me, I'm a hard rocker. You know, this, this is what I do. 
But for some reason, I've been listening to swing music. We'll, we'll play Scrabble at night, and I'll put on either swing music or jazz or uh, or classical when we're playing it's Scrabble. It's been very interesting, Todd. Very interesting to make this new walk in. But I've met a lot of them over the last five years. It's been very <laughs> challenging, interesting, exciting, and crazy all at the same time. But yeah. I really like this one. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, the original Greg is still there, but this yeah. is a this is a high aspect braid. And the, the original Greg still likes Van Halen, Metallica, and all these hard rock bands, but I also like swing. And man, I want to jam. I want to jam with you. Man. <laughs> I want to do some soul speaking with you. I want to do some freestyling with that guitar. All right. One of the things I I do in support for uh, for people is also um, people who have who know that they're walk ins. Like a lot of times, there's a, a soul exchange where a, a new soul has been coming and going for quite a long time, and all of a sudden, you know, instead of passing and dying in the body. A person who got everything that they needed to out of this lifetime, perhaps they need to go to the new earth or whatever. They, they literally walk out and a new one walks in and the new one sometimes has memory that they're walking and sometimes they don't. But I get a lot of, of clients who are, know that they're walk-ins and they're having difficulty in their life with the remaining contracts that the old soul had. And so, um, mm. so I'm familiar with walk-ins and have a lot of experience with it. And just getting back to Janie's question too. Um, and relating that to the classical music, what I do with these high pitch frequencies, I try to include a classical concerto in that particular high pitch frequency. So um, if you want to meditate, that would be the perfect thing to meditate to. Or you can meditate to that high pitch frequency that you're just hearing on your own. Uh, one, and getting back to the walk in soul. Another, another thing people need to keep in mind about that is that sometimes your current walk in soul or whatever soul. Uh, your current soul can only absorb so much of this photonic energy that's coming in. And in order to get an upgrade, you'll have a walk-in that's able to absorb even more from maybe, maybe perhaps higher dimensions. Mm -hmm. So get these walk-ins, you're, you're able to absorb even more of that photonic energy. So getting walk-ins is not a bad thing. It doesn't change who I am. No, no. Yeah. Uh, it enhances it for sure. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's mean, been fun. Got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Interesting. I mean, Are we that's, missing something there? Is there is that something? What is that? What you said? Well, it, it this is the what? same. Hmm? This is the same thing as integrating your multidimensional self. Yeah, yeah, completely. yeah. You know, and all so your different layers, and so yes. we become, we become more. We become different, but we're the same. Yeah. Yeah, somebody asked that question, uh, was it a totally different soul? But I think you just answered. It's just uh, higher aspects of of greg in this case yeah that's able to integrate more energy yeah 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 that makes that makes total sense um yeah that's uh that that's that's an interesting that's an interesting thing because i i know it, over the last few weeks i've looked back on my own path and i've seen different times that uh that there was a notable change and uh and i started wondering about that and of course now we know when we start wondering about things it's not just coming out of thin air. <laughs> this is communication we're receiving. Yeah. Well, one of the things I'd like to kind of wrap things up with is, you know, I of all people, I have studied and studied and read and I have learned so much. And Greg is such a simple man. And he I'll come in here and just talk away to him. And sometimes it overstimulates him and he has to shut down. And I, I have to learn not to do that. But Keep it simple. You know, we're already doing everything we need to do. We have to trust that. And, you know, it's okay to read other stuff, but sometimes everything gets so confusing. And then there's so much disinformation that's put out there by the matrix to oppose what's right. Well, if you just get overstimulated and, and confused and depressed because you don't think that we're shifting or you don't think it's happening to you, just turn everything off and go out into nature ground. and ground and just trust, you know, I really love surrender, really love showers and baths, the salt baths, you know, take a um, sea salt bath or uh, magnesium. What's that magnesium stuff called the um, Epsom salt oh. bath. Um, Cause you know, we're deficient in magnesium. And one thing I wanted to sneak in real quick is, um, you know, I, I like to use him. I like to use him as an example for everything. But uh, my star family told me specifically um, 
that you know, I was worried about my diet because there's so much um, different information out there about, you know, vegan this and then don't eat meat or, you know, paleo diet versus whatever. And, you know, he eats meat. I still eat meat. Um, we're sitting here talking to you. It's, it's, it does not affect your consciousness. You know, if you need to not eat meat because, you know, it makes you feel better, that's fine. But you can put your vibrations into meat. Everything is energy. Like I said, when I, I agree. you pick up something and you dust it, you're literally just moving energy around. So you can change the vibration of energy. Try to eat organic, but if you can't afford organic, our food isn't really organic anyway. When we have chemtrails raining down on it, we're watering it with fluoride and the, the soil has, you know, is poisoned. But we can't think about those things. Just try to be a human. Yeah, be a that's person. where we're at now. Yeah. Is we are multidimensional beings now coming into a human body to be a human, and that's how we're going to connect with all the rest of the humans and pull them in. You know, anyone that knows me knows I see things before they happen. Um, you know, I get visions. I I get see things in my dreams as well. You know, I, I smoke occasionally. I drink, um, but and I eat meat. Uh, I'm know, a heathen. I'm a heathen. Person, so you know. But I admit it, and I own it. Yeah, and you do too. You know, and it's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. Well, I got a little. I got a little whiskey right over here right now. <laughs> was, well, see, you know, you know, you guys, but you're yeah. vibrating at such a high frequency. You know, in order to stay in the body, some people when they drink, the spirits they literally shift. They come yeah. out of their body and they don't realize it. But you guys need it to ground. You literally need mm. to slow down your frequency. It doesn't mean your soul or your mm. spirit going to be at a different frequency you can't change well, that. I, I was i was talking to my, uh, my friend here uh last night and we were talking about this because we went went out and had some sushi and some sake and uh sake bomber i had some sake bomber and uh but you know and i said you know the thing is it, it you know we're the center of our own universe i've spent a lot of time with lisa brown lately and uh she talks about how the body has to ascend and has to be pure to do that and she doesn't mean pure in the sense of like the old pious ways she means as just more of a, a scientific way but I, I and i'm i still don't know i i i don't know because i i i and i was talking to my friend i said well maybe you know maybe depending on what our origin is and i know we all go back to the one but like what planet or whatever what the makeup is there maybe that's how that works but the bottom line is whatever works for you is what works for you you know everybody's and, uh, different. Uh, don't judge yeah, don't judge those that do things that you don't approve of, you know? Yeah, yeah. You, um, yeah. At this, yeah, at this point in the game, we know it, it's it's so loud now. We know when we're not, you know, we're not supposed to be doing something or we're supposed to be doing something, you know? So uh, I totally Everything agree with moderation, you. Though. I mean, we know when we drink too much, um, you know, I'm like, shit, why did I do that? I'm not going to do that anymore. But it isn't like I lowered my frequency and vi vibration so much that I'm going to not ascend or something. You know? it's, yeah. it's a part of uh, it, your consciousness is what can pull everything with you, including your yeah. physical, your, your consciousness can pull your emotional, your mental, your physical and your etheric all into alignment. So yeah, it's yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. It's knowing and, and this allowance and connecting with your, with your God self that, that matters right now. And when everybody yeah. works on themselves in that manner, it's funny because it's not really worth yeah. letting go and surrendering and not reacting. And that's how we exit from the matrix. That's yeah. what matters. And that's what's going to pull everyone else that needs to go with us. And I think the bottom line is the bottom line is that it like you said, it's all energy. And and Everything and I learned energy. that yeah, I learned that working uh, with Morgan, you know, for three years, it took me a while to figure it out. But once I started to say, well, wait a minute, if, if I truly am, which I believe I am divinity and, and, uh, you know, and I came into this thing with the Akashic, if you will, you know, the, whatever we had when we came in here and then through this, these life experiences, I, we've added to that. I mean, it only makes sense to me that we could do anything. And so if it's all energy, I can convert whatever I need to convert. And I'm not saying I can do it flawlessly, but I know that we're making progress in that regard. And it's really gets down to that. I, I, I totally agree with what you said. 
You know, I, I totally believe that we complicate things with our finite mind. And there's a beautiful, infinite simplicity to this whole thing. And that, to me, it just gets down to two, two different energies. One's real and one's not, you know. Remember, Todd, hmm? you're the Trojan horse. So you're going to do whatever it takes by food, by whatever you choose, by being human, to kind of assimilate to the frequency that you're in. Yeah. Because you can't change your soul frequency. Your soul mm -hmm. frequency is, is that. Uh, so you're the Trojan horse. When it's time, you know, yeah. maybe you won't want to drink anymore. Maybe you won't want to eat meat anymore. And I'm totally for that because we're going to have yeah. replicators. We can replicate everything and nothing's going to be harmful for us. Yeah. So, um, you're, the, you know, you're doing everything right. Just, That's right. yeah, it's okay to be a heathen. <laughs> yeah. What's a heathen? Always a heathen. I agree with a Jack Daniels here. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm saying, saying that yeah. everybody's got their own way of dealing with what's happening. They do. They do. They do. Yeah. And, and, and I, and that voice is speaking to us louder and louder. And I go back to that, that, video which i i swear i never watch i can't watch more than three or four minutes of a video and but i watched that one last night and he was talking about uh uh ike was talking about how that voice gets as you follow the intuition uh, it gets louder and louder and louder and louder so i feel that and i think i think there's solid evidence of that you see it in people's lives and maybe it's this uh Maybe it's this blue Blu-ray grid tightening up. I don't know, but I see it. I feel it, and it's exciting. And I think this month is like a kickoff. You know, I, you know, I just yeah. feel like this this is taking off now. Somebody put it this way, and they they you know they said that that uh, we got to the point September October where everything we had done, like Greg since 2008 and you for the last five or six years and all, all that stuff we've done that didn't seem to be getting any reciprocation is all coming to fruition. Now it's all coming to us. Now I'm, I'm living proof, you know, I mean, like, I don't know how I got over here. And you dude, know, you're was, sitting in Hawaii. <laughs> I know. I, and, and, you know, and the crazy thing is everyone knows that on the 3d level, it's expensive here, right? I didn't have any money. I was covering the Thousand Goddess Gathering in Washington, D.C. I'm heading back to Sedona trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to support Morgan and I in Sedona and get her flown back over here. <laughs> and the next thing I know, that voice starts saying, you're going to Hawaii. You're going to Hawaii. I'm like, what? You know, how am I going to get there? And then, and then I was driving down the road with my friend Michael, and uh, I, I just opened up the phone and looked at uh, Hawaiian Airlines, and boom, $400 direct from new york i'm like well i guess i'm going to hawaii because that voice said push the button push the button and the crazy thing is it just keeps going you know i like okay i don't know where i'm gonna stay so the day before the, the day i'm leaving a lady contacts me she has 100 friends on facebook she has one common friend she says to me i live in Kauai. where are you going i look at my ticket I, i'm going to Kauai. i didn't even know i was going to Kauai. all right i didn't know lisa brown was on Kauai. right and she says, I've got a room temporarily for five or six weeks. You're welcome to stay here. It's got its own bathroom and its own entrance. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. You know, but if you look at uh, Lisa's story, Lisa came here five years ago with $1,800. And within a week, she had half her money left. I mean, she didn't have a car for three years. She took the bus everywhere. And that's not like taking the bus, you know, in the city. This is like, you know, we're talking country out here. So. You know, it's the magic, like you said earlier. The magic is real, and uh, and we're we're evidence of it. And I'm a big believer that you keep feeding it. And I love your, I love your metaphor of the Trojan horse. That's that's never going to leave me after this day. I, I love that. <laughs> that is, I wish I would have thought of that. I want to say something, y'all, on behalf of everybody, because the last time I did a show with Michelle, we had a really good show. It was a fantastic, one of the best shows I've ever done, and. Uh, and she said to me at one point, she said something complimentary to Morgan and I, and that she knew how difficult, you know, it is to be in a relationship in this transition. You guys have, have, uh, you know, regardless of whatever happens with any of us, you know, you guys have, have really been out there. Uh, you've shown that, you know, we can always get knocked down and get back up. And uh, it's just, it's uh, something that I wanted to point out. And I want to thank you for it because uh, 
you know, it, it's not about what we say. It's about what we do and the, and the energy that we carry and the example that we live by. And uh, you guys have been, uh, you know, you guys have been out there and that takes a lot of guts in itself. And uh, thank you. Thank you. And so when we were at um, Greg's parents' house for Thanksgiving, Greg asked them a question uh, about how, how, how many years have they been married? 62. How do you possibly stay in a marriage with somebody for 62 years? Yeah. And their, their answer was patience and love, of course, but patience. And I asked them individually so they wouldn't. I wanted, wanted to see if they would have different answers, but their answers were identical, patience and love. And I would say that forgiveness, understanding that we're in a matrix reality that is created by some brilliant creator to bring up all the shit that needs to be seen yeah. and that we are reacting in exactly the manner that we're supposed to, even when we're mad, even when we're saying stupid shit, you know, it's all meant to happen. So, yeah. so we're following this path, this, this, yeah. play, yeah. this grand finale. And uh, so forgive, you know, forgive yourself for all the things that you've said to somebody or done it to anybody. Forgive them because you don't always see the bigger picture. One of the things uh, that I did for two days was to lie in bed and cry and think about all the relationships I ever had and how I got hurt and how I hurt them, how it must have felt on their side and, and realizing that a lot of them were just different from me. And I was trying yeah. to control them and make them fit what I wanted them to, to, to fit into. And when I recognized that, I released it. And that was a huge thing for me. Uh, this, this work that we're doing is just releasing and allowing the emotions to move the energy. And But all that was supposed to happen. And every one of them was probably parallel in some cosmic war that I was in or some cosmic situation in a parallel lifetime that I was having interaction with them on my multidimensional self level. And it all played out here on Earth. And it's fascinating to go back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also yeah, we've had past and, lives. <laughs> yeah. And also, you know, yeah, that's true too. And then also, uh, so, you know, some of the stuff, I mean, it's always about us, but some of the stuff that we're, that we're transmuting is, is, is for the collective, you know, we are carrying, uh, you know, they talk about blue rays, blue rays are healing the, uh, the ancestral stuff within their, the families they chose to come into. Yeah. I ran into a guy that'd been married, married, uh, five times in the last one was 48 years and i said what what's the secret he said well there's two rules rule number one she's always right rule number two if she's not right refer to rule number one so <laughs> i thought i'd think about that one for a while <laughs> well and so on, on our you know on on our side we, we have to let go of the need to be right and we have to understand absolutely i'm just sees. making a joke yeah I'm yeah just everybody making. sees it every everybody yeah. sees every situation differently mm -hmm. yeah so, and like uh you know like morgan told me one time and then, and then sometimes it's not you, it's not me, it's just the energy, because sometimes this yes. energy comes down. <laughs> sometimes this energy comes down, and all you got to do is flip on the news feed and and just you know you can see it. It's it's out there, but no, it's all good. But you know, I don't know about you guys, but not even just speaking to that level of relationships. I guess everything is a relationship when you get down to it. But uh, it just seems like we're getting through this stuff with more ease and grace. It's quicker, you know, it's easier. Uh, it doesn't mean we don't have a little discomfort, but, you know, that we recognize it when it comes in and we own it for ourselves. And I think that that conscious awareness is spreading amongst the uh, circles that we run around in, too. Well, what I've noticed and another thing that's on my list here is that there are some of us who decided to take a fast track, go through all the crap really fast, you know, um, you probably as, as well have done this, but Greg and I have been through at least each two bouts of extreme, extreme as ascension flu. We're down to the bones. You're just chilled. You can put, you can put blankets on you can do, and you're just, you're freezing. Your, your whole bones are changing um, or you're sweating profusely and you wake up and the whole bed is wet. We've already been through all that. So that like when people are going through it now, there's a lot of people that aren't flying. Uh, so easy right now. There's a lot of people that are having a really, really tough time. And because mm -hmm. they're 
actually going through some of the stuff that we've already been through because we volunteered. I don't know why or how we volunteered <laughs> first without an instruction manual. But now that we've got an instruction manual and we can help others and say, this is natural when you have heart palpitations, you feel like you're having a heart attack, yeah. you're going to die. I'm not a doctor, but I've been through this. And I went to the hospital and there was nothing, they couldn't find anything. They did EKG and there was nothing wrong with me and sent me home, you know? So, um, you know, that's kind of what we signed up for. And yeah, I am at the point that you're talking about where I am being able to flow through it uh, so much easier right now, but I do have a great respect and, and uh, acknowledgement of, of people who may be listening to this who aren't doesn't mean that you're not doing anything right. No, you're right about that. You're right about that. You know, and, if you if you need some help, we're here. <laughs> we're here to support you. We've been through it. Yeah, and on that note too, I mean, both of you have two websites. I know you're a practitioner, Michelle. Are you also a practitioner, Greg? No, no, no. I'm okay, a family therapist, but um, then my website took off, and I haven't done that in since okay. two. Well, just so, I mean, I know a lot of people know y'all. I just wanted to put it out there while we have this crowd and whoever comes in on the replay. Uh, uh, the Both of the, all four of the websites are listed in the body of the post, in the text of the post, if you guys want to find out more about Michelle and Greg. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. What else do you have on your list? Do you have anything else on there? That's it, man. Everything yeah. was, like, beautifully unfolded. It's like you opened your mouth as mm -hmm. a to everything that we wanted to talk about. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Well, let, let me just say a couple of things here. Well, I have the chance because it's, it is in, uh, in the flow. Uh, one is today is a six. And I think this is very significant. Uh, Morgan Lee will be here tomorrow. So that's significant. <laughs> My birthday is on Sunday. That's significant. And I mean that from a power standpoint, you know, I just, I just feel this groove that we're getting into in December. We got 12, 12, we're going to have a big day, a big, big day on 12, 12, uh, probably do 10, 12 hours of programming. Uh, we'll be launching soon. And I just want to go back to, uh, the early part of the show when Greg talked about the shadowing, or uh, what did you call it? The, the, Sha a hidden shadowing or whatever you call shadow it. Shadow banning. Yeah, shadow banning. Okay. Uh, this is the reason. Uh, I want to make this clear in public. Uh, Sology is not Todd. Okay. Sology is an energy. This energy began coming to Morgan and I as a separate entity uh, last summer and speaks to us. We work with it as others do more and more every day. It's It's an energy. It's something that uh, I had been downloading for almost seven years, not really understanding it. And it's coming to fruition now. And I would just tell everybody out there that um, that it, the idea of it is to take every one of people like Greg and Michelle and so many other people to one URL address so that we bring in all that Internet traffic to one place. And, uh, and, and it's not owned by a Facebook or a YouTube. And, uh, and we've made some great strides in the last couple of days. And so I would invite, uh, everybody's love and support and energy. It's, it's pure, it's based on purity. And as I understand it from, uh, the communications that I've received from it, Morgan's received that anything that's not pure will not remain with it. And that seems to be the way it's going. So I think this is a very significant uh, broadcast in the way it went down. And, and I hope to see you guys as part of that. And, uh, and, and I would certainly, uh, we support what you're doing and your sites. And that's the thing about it. The sites and the individuals are just spokes in the wheel uh, of the infinite number of spokes that can be in the wheel. And if I have, if I see the dream come to fruition, which I believe I will, every single person will have a channel on that network. It's basically, it's basically a living Akashic, uh, you know, for the next group that comes behind us, you know? So, you know, we anyway. were just talking about something similar earlier and I, I would just like to put it out to the, the aether, you know, or bring it in and toss it back out. You know, may, if, if somebody's listening that has the finances that can start up a new Facebook, a Facebook that, Call it spirit book, call it soul book, call, call it anything. Somebody that can start something up that doesn't have the censorship, that can yeah. allow for video streaming, 
That's what he's doing. Yeah. I mean, let me, let me go a little bit. We're we're asking, we're asking for the financing. So it can get up running because it's going to take a server. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, I've learned a lot in the last couple of months. As everybody knows, I've shot my big mouth off and said, hey, we're going to do it here. We're going to do it this day, 11-11. And, uh, but I've learned a lot, uh, a whole lot. What we're doing is really cutting edge. But we're going to start it very basic. And what you're talking about, what you're talking about is very doable. And it's not, it's not in the old paradigm where we have to have a big investment. We're, we, we're, we're getting enough abundance in now that we can launch this thing. It's just like this, this experience we're having now as it's moved away from the past and the future. And we have to stay in this present moment of surrender to the embrace, right? But what I'm getting at is the way it would start is with one channel, like with the, the uh, mixtape that we run now, we plug in lives and we coordinate that until we have we have 24 lives in a day. I love it. Every, every day. But the part about the profile is very, very simple. And I was very, very happy to hear this, how simple it is. And basically what happens is when people come in, they'll basically just join the community. And so it'll be their name and their email and a picture. And then as we continue to go with it, uh, we'll add to that and they can begin to build a profile and everybody, I mean, I can't really explain it all. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we're yeah. in. We're in. It, and here's the thing. We're in. And here's a, and here's the thing. It's all funded. If to use an old paradigm word, it's all funded by us. It, it's all based on this 5D commerce, which is based on the honor system and paying it forward. You know. And okay. I will tell you one. I'll tell you one last thing: is Lisa Transcendence Brown introduced me to her journey back in June. And she told me about paying it forward. And at the time, and you know, we're, we're doing a little better now, but we were struggling pretty bad. But from that moment, I started doing it. I started tipping 30%. I started paying forward uh, and and with Sology, as representing Sology. And, and the reciprocation has been there and it continues to be there. And, and that's something that is real. That's part of that magic Michelle's talking about. And that's what it's based on. Because if you think about it, unconditional love is unconditional trust. It's the same thing. Trust is love, is truth, you know. So we just stay with our truth and, and it'll continue to expand. But yeah, I'm happy to hear that you're you're in. Well, when I started my radio show, Cosmic Awakening Show, I had all these people on. I supported them, gave them a platform. Um, they were on N5D YouTube and and, and not one time did they pay it forward to me. And I tried not to be a victim. I tried to sit there and go, going, you know, I don't understand. They're getting all these clients and, you know, I am, I don't have a, I don't have a nine to five job, you know, mm-hmm. I don't understand this, but it was a lesson for me because every client, yeah. every show that we've ever done together, when I get a client, I immediately turn around and pay it forward to you because that's yeah. the kind of person I am. So yeah. I told Greg about that right before we sat down here. I said, you know, I always give, I always send Todd a donation because he always, yeah. always get a client and I always pay it forward. And that's what this is about. So it's so yeah. amazing that you're just like your mouth opens and, <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's just like what we're, what we were talking about. It's great. Well, the, the great thing is, is that it, that way everybody can focus on what they love and they don't have to worry about all the logistics, you know, even right now in this, in this first, fragmented stage we have people that have stepped up <clears throat> that like to to do the web building and like to do some of the other stuff so it's all coming together and uh and, and like i don't said, have to worry started, about censorship either no no i made that i had that was one of the the conversations i had with the streaming platform a couple of days ago and by the way somebody said 24 hours 24 7 tv station this is basically the same thing but it's multiple channels but anyway, I, I told him, I said, listen, I, I don't want any problem with, uh, you know, with content. And they said, as long as it's not porn, uh, I said, well, I want to see what you have in your whatever I'm going to sign. And and it's clear that there's no problem. So they don't cool. care. They don't care because we're really the ones out in front and they're just providing the stream. That's it. So, but awesome. I'll get with you on it and everybody else yeah. on it. And thank you, everybody, for your love, support, and contributions. Thank you, too, for doing the work that you've done for so long and for uh, hitting me up today. And thank you, 
Greg, for coming out of hiding. <laughs> My pleasure, and I, brother. And I can't wait to uh, do a little freestyle. Yeah. Uh, soul speaking with you and your guitar. Yeah. All right. Y'all take care. All right, be good. See you later. Bye, everybody. Peace out, everybody. Y'all Thanks for care. joining us. Yeah, thank you. I'll send you a, a editable.